You know, YouTube, I'm making some adjustments here to the overall design whereby the <clears throat> the bearing instead of as it is at the moment being like that uh, but inverted so it's a lot of different it's gonna be I think either like that where that goes up to the end and then the other can should slide in theoretically but it means I've got to get rid of this edge this bit here so I'm going to grind that out grind that out and then see how it turns out so this this is one of them I haven't decided which way round these are going to go. Yeah, probably like that. See it? So yeah, that's a smart touch. This one. Let's cut that out top and bottom and then re drill holes. What I'll do is I'll fit the uh, bearings to one so I'll have its top and bottom bearing arm, and then basically I'll slide the other one in. Hopefully, so I'll just go cut it first. That's the result. Uh, it looks very different and it's freaking me out a bit how different it looks. But sorry, I'll come around this side. That's how it looks from overhead. So only time will tell if it's worked but I'm going to spend some time making sure everything's as straight as possible and then, oh, down the bottom obviously that needs me to so yeah but that's how they're going to go <clears throat> so I've got to spend a while lining them up and then drill the holes for the plates so yeah hopefully it will make an improvement we shall see if not it's not the end of the world but we got to try these things otherwise we will only know peace out glad to report I'm happy how this is going so that's what it looks like from above they're drilled in I just had to grind away a tiny bit in there <clears throat> and then I'm going to take a measurement from here to there and make sure when I do the other side that it's perfect it's going to make it tricky tighten up the allen bolt which is going to be in there but I will be able to do it and I will clean this gunk off because it's disgusting so yeah going to finish doing this side and then flip over and do the other side so that's one end bolted on so now I've got to do the bottom so I'm going to flip it over and do it. so this is the other side it fits in okay but I've got to grind away grind away a couple of little bits to make sure it's all level and then it will be good. I don't want to remove too much of the can. They're taking away the strength from it, what strength it's got. But before I drill the holes here, here, here and here, I'm going to take an exact measurement of the bottom. And then that will all be good. I'll know it's vertical. 
so it's just going to give this a good spray with soapy, very hot water. Get some of that bad shit out. So yeah, this is where we're at. I've changed the design. I've done the top and the bottom. I've measured the that everywhere, top and bottom, both sides, top and bottom. So I'm gonna go out and stick it on, see if it runs. Not a lot of wind, but I'll soon know if it's picking it up or not. wind at the moment and there's not going to be tomorrow either but I thought I'd get it up and running and then be able to see if there's any problems with it over the next few days but change design to make it more streamlined so hopefully it'll get some better speed a big grass there <laughs> Yeah, that's a wrap for tonight. More progress because if it doesn't work I can just slide it back out and bolt it through the other holes to make the blades bigger again. So peace.